Good afternoon, ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Big Akar Ahmed, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be going ahead and asking the question Has this Pride Month that we are located in right now, has it gone too far? Have these Pride parades gone too far? Has the LGBTQ community have they gone too far? Have we crossed the line? And the answer is yes. We have blasted through that line. We are in outer space, and I don't know if we could ever come back back and we need to address this we need to talk about these things right as christians muslims jews shame on us that we go ahead and allow our kids to be brainwashed by the entertainment industry by the music industry by everything that is going ahead around us by our society and our media and now they are indoctrinating all of these things within the curriculum inside of our schools inside of the elementary schools shame on us as a society that we have let a minority of sickos go ahead and change the whole infrastructure of this country, of the whole entire Western world. It is a shame. I thought that the United States of America is a Christian country. That is a complete joke. And every single time I hear someone call the United States of America a Christian country, I hear just nails on a chalkboard. I cringe to death because there's nothing Christian about this country. This country is completely so far left and demonic. It is unreal. Yes, it is free and it is liberal. It is a liberal democratic country. That's what we can call it. Free is a little bit of a stretch to say that we're free. Like, you know, I can't talk about certain subjects online and I have freedom of speech, but you know, you could chop your genitals off and we're all good, right? I find these things so hypocritical and such a problem. So this video in general is not to be going against gay people or the gay community. No, I have a problem with all sexual immorality as I believe in the morals that come from God Almighty, okay? I don't believe in this OnlyFans garbage. I don't believe in the pornography industry. I don't believe in the way that men and women dress today in public, their skin-tight clothes, with their stomachs out and their boobs out. And even the straight, the straight people, the gay people, I don't care who you are. I don't like the sexual immorality. Fornication is fornication. Man on man, woman on woman, uh, woman on man. It does not matter. If you are not married or you cannot get married, it is fornication. That is it. That is how it works. Okay? Where did I get my laws? Where did I get my morals? I got my morals from God Almighty. God Almighty has sent us prophets. God Almighty has sent angels down to those prophets to go ahead and share the message with all of mankind. And that message has been here for over five, six thousand plus years since the beginning of time. And you have us as a human collective have one common enemy, and that is Satan. And Satan has gone ahead and used specific subjects such as gay pride now to go ahead and use this against us as a society and use this against our children. And we're going to go ahead and get into exactly how he's done this. And we're going to go ahead and see blasphemous statements and check out a couple different things here. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and show is a video of a channel and it's called Jesus Christ. It's a man who dresses up as Jesus Christ. It's complete blasphemy. And he has 1.2 million followers. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is the type of thing that gets attention nowadays. These are the people who get paid, are people who make fun of God, who make fun of religion. These are the people who go ahead and get followers, who go ahead and make money, are these people. And he goes and he goes to a pride parade and he's dressed up as Jesus. So we're going to go ahead and check that out, that blasphemy. Then we're gonna go ahead and see what a couple different people have to say that are at a pride parade, if they think it's been taken too far, and you know if things need to be toned down or not, and just their view on different things. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump into the scripture, we're gonna jump into the Holy Quran, and we're gonna jump into the Holy Bible to see what they say specifically about fornication and you know uh, homosexuality in specific, right? Now, before I go ahead and start, I'm going to say this again. I have nothing against gay people. I can care less if you're gay. That's the whole point of this video. I don't care if you like men. I don't care if you like women. I don't care if you're straight. I don't care if you're gay. Keep that inside your bedroom. Your sexual preference has nothing to do with going out in the middle of the street, taking your boobs out, putting tassels on them, painting your chest with a rainbow flag, and smacking each other in the booty. It has nothing to do with public nudity and, and taking kids and exposing them to this garbage and drag queens. None of this. 
None of this has to do with your sexual preference and your sexual preference should not be celebrated. There is no reason, no reason your sexual preference, your sexuality needs to be celebrated. That is one of the weirdest things I've ever heard in my life and you deserve to be jailed for talking and doing things like this in public. You are a pervert if you wear your sexuality on your chest. If all you can do is think about sex everywhere you go and everything you do is sex, 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 I'm gay, I'm straight, I'm this. You need to be put on the sex offenders registry list, all right? So without further ado, let's get into this. So this is about five years ago, I believe, as you can see. They're dancing, they're having a good time. Yay, wow, congratulations. Oh, look, it's Jesus. And this is the Christian depiction of Jesus that was drawn up. Obviously, Jesus doesn't look like this, but this is the Jesus that we all know, you know, from depictions. And this is pure blasphemy. That's why in the religion of Islam, we're not allowed to draw images of God. We're not allowed to draw images of of our prophets we're not allowed to give depictions of these people because why this is the stuff that happens or you lead to creating idols out of them and worshiping them rather than worshiping god almighty the creator that has created everything the heavens the earth the sun the moon the everything right and this is the type of thing that happens i just don't comprehend why it's okay to go ahead and dress and act the way that some of these people act right in Christianity and Islam, one of the most important things is modesty, is dressing modest. When people go to church, they go ahead and wear, you know, dress clothing and look, look, look at the, look at the sex dolls on the truck. Look how they're dressed. They have their shirts off and they're acting like a bunch of a bunch of idiots. Like, why? Why is it okay to be unmodest? Why is it okay to have sex dolls on a truck and dance around and act like a bunch of demons? Like, I don't understand how this makes you gay. Or how this makes you, like, why is there a child wearing a tail, a rainbow tail? Like, all of this is so beyond, 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 beyond me. I, I really cannot, like, just, like, I'm literally lost for words. I can't even speak right now. Anyways, going back to modesty. Modesty is one of the most important things in Islam and Christianity. When you go to church, you wear dress clothing. You know, women used to cover themselves. When you look at Mother Mary, one of the most important figures in Christianity and Islam, one of the most important women in all of human history, right? The mother of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him and his mother. When you see depictions of her, she's wearing and covering her head. When you see nuns, they have covered heads. When you see Muslim women, they are covered. They're wearing the hijab. They're covered up. When you go ahead and see Muslim men, right? They're wearing these long draped, you know, uh, draped clothing called the habayas, where they cover themselves and dress in modesty. When men go to church, they're wearing, you know, suits. They're wearing dress clothing. And we just dress modestly. When you go to work, we dress modestly. Modesty is something that is ordained by God. It's something that we all, as you know, religious people, as people who go ahead and follow the covenants and the rules and the commandments that God has bestowed upon us and follow the prophets of God, these are our things that this is something that we hold dear to us. And gay pride, these pride events, are completely the opposite of modest. They're completely the opposite of this. Only fans, straight pornography, and everything that's happening that's being pressed through music and movies and everything like rap music i f that b and i do this and i, and I smoke drugs and I, like everything that is happening nowadays is so 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 just just it's to brainwash our children it's to brainwash you as a kid that's what it is that's who consumes all of this stuff so it's completely sick that these are the things that are happening in our society and these are the things that are being allowed to happen in our society, especially when there's 3 billion Christians on earth, 2 billion Muslims on earth. That's 5 billion people who are supposed to be following the commandments and the covenants of God. And yet we have people like this with 1.3 million, uh, 1.2, 1.3 million followers and subscribers on YouTube, making bands, making money, dressing like Jesus, showing up to these gay pride parades. And I think it's really, really, really sick. Now, to go ahead, we're going to go ahead and check out this um, this interview where she goes ahead and asks a couple different people at a pride parade what is, uh, if it's gone too far, right? pretty much. 
sense of celebration and joy of any identity that we hold. So should there be a straight pride then? Or Oh, God, no. no. God, no. <laughs> it's like when you say, is there reverse racism? No, there's no room for that, I don't think, personally. Okay. Yeah. Um, I so think it's sexualities, just... but not straight people. Do you guys realize that this is... So that's crazy. She j literally just said, I think we should celebrate anyone's sense of of you know uh identity right and then she goes well there should be there a straight pride and she's like no no it's like saying reverse racism it's like saying that a black person can't be racist towards a white person it's like saying black people can't hate white people that's impossible we shouldn't talk about that that's just stupid like are you an adult like how how do we have people like this in our society how is this allowed and this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is the type of stuff that, like, just makes, like, my brain churn. Like, I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Mostly new age conservative talking points, what I'm asking you here. Or... For sure, yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. I'm saying the, I, I was looking at you, but I was talking to, her, to you, to them, mm -hmm. hey, him. Um, I feel like the parents should have some kind of explanation to it okay. a little bit. It's a little bit knowledge about kinks yes. and fetishes. Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. think that kids can come and be part of it? Based on what you've seen at this parade, too, specifically, do you think it's a think appropriate place? Yes, I think it's really, fun. Yes, think it's really teachers, fun. So, yeah. yeah. Um, really? What do you guys teach? Like, what grade? Yeah. Seventh and eighth grade math. So you yeah. do think it's an appropriate environment? Children yeah, should be exposed. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, to me, there's no question. But yeah. have you guys seen any sort of, like, kink stuff or fetish stuff that you think, oh, maybe kids shouldn't be looking at this, or do you think that's all fine? I think I grew up listening to country music when there was a lot of innuendos and, like, um, the southern atmosphere, and I think that's no worse or better than listening to certain words and not knowing what they meant. Do you believe that kids... So, she just... Comp first off, she's... They're teachers of 7th and 8th grade, which means, like, 13, 14-year-olds. This is dangerous. These people should be imprisoned, not teaching kids, to be completely honest with you, with their type of mindset. And no, I'm not even I'm not even being harsh. I'm actually being very, very, very fair at this point, okay? She says there's no problem with kids being around this stuff. But as you see, you have grown men shaking their butt naked, pretty much. Women naked, boobs out with you know, painting their chest and painting their self with rainbow colors and just like complete sexual immorality, complete straight up public nudity. And it's taken around kids ages five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and they think it's okay. They think it's just like normal. There's nothing normal about this. You guys deserve to be on the sex offenders list. You guys deserve to be, you know, marked as predators this is predator activity that you go out in the middle of broad daylight and strip naked and act like this and get on the ground and bark like a dog and like this is sick stuff this is like it, it makes my insides want to come out and no it has nothing to do with you being gay you be be gay but when did being gay have to do have to do with taking your genitals out in public? When did being gay have to getting down on your knees and barking like a dog in public? You know, there's something called strip clubs for men and women, and they usually open at night, and they're open all night, and you usually have to be over the age of 18, 21 to get inside of these places, and not even because there's alcohol, because you're seeing nudity. And nudity is for ages 18 and older. When you watch a movie, anything with nudity is 18 or older. When you play a video game, any any type of nudity in a video game is 18 and older, right? Any type of sexual content, it takes everything to an 18 rating, right? So the fact she blamed country music, she's like, oh, it's like listening to country music when they were riding on a tractor and that woman had a big booty. Like, it's nothing like that. It's nothing like country music sexualizing a chick. Is nothing like that because you can turn off the music. The music is censored. The music it has a rating on it. It doesn't play on the radio if it's crossed a specific line. Like everything that you're saying is not even conflatable. You're saying because country music, a guy talked about a girl and he liked the size of her booty. I can go out in public and strip naked and men can bark like dogs and strip 
and just act completely sexually immoral and take kids around this in broad daylight, that's insanity. That's like complete brainwash mental, like you have a mental disorder to be thinking like this. Should be performing in drag and be sexualized. Yeah, but they shouldn't be sexualized because they're coming out as they sell. I feel like people should just express, yeah, even just children, express themselves. just express yourself as much as possible. And I feel like- Where, where would you draw the line though? I would and draw no as line. to what? You would draw no lines based on what you've seen so far at this parade. Do you think this is an appropriate place to bring children or not so much? I've actually seen a lot of children here, yeah, <laughs> so I feel like, you know, so we think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's a good exposure for the kids. What about the guys whipping each other in the asses? Oh, wait, <laughs> did you see that? Oh, I didn't see <laughs> that. <laughs> but, you know, what can we do about people trying to express themselves in the way that they want to? So, Because when they get home, they're, they're going to get questioned. Like, Mommy, what is that? And you think the parent then should explain it? I feel like the parents should have some kind of explanation to it okay. a little bit. All right, I'm done. I, I can't listen to these people anymore. I really can't listen to these people anymore. We're going to go ahead and jump into the scripture in just a second, but let me just touch on this real quick. She said there's no line. There's no line. There's no line that should be crossed. Drag queens in, in schools, whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, what are we going to do about people expressing themselves, how they want to express themselves? Let them express themselves how they want. You know, let them shake their butt naked in the middle of the street. And kids, eh, they should be exposed to it. When they get home, their parents should just explain to them why it's happening. No, no one should be explaining to a five-year-old that doesn't know what sexuality is, that doesn't know what sex is yet. No one should be explaining to a five-year-old what is happening in the middle of the street with this naked dude. Why is the five-year-old even there? Why is it happening in the middle of broad daylight in the middle of the street? You should be jailed, arrested. You should be put on the sex offenders list. This is so weird and the fact that you're defending it and you think it's normal and you just wear a bunch of rainbow shit like why did you ruin the rainbow why god's creation the beautiful creations created with the sun and the water in the middle of the sky why have you guys destroyed it it's not even associated with gay people anymore it's just associated with sexual immorality now it's just a demonic symbol it's so sad it's so sickening and it just pisses me off bro it literally just pisses me off we're going to go ahead and check out what the Bible has to say about sec uh, homosexuality and just read a couple different verses and then go into what the Quran says, read a couple different verses, and then just, you know, have some closing statements and just end the video off here, all right? Now, Leviticus 18.22, you shall not lie with a male as with a woman. It is an abomination. Leviticus 20.13, if a man lies with a man, uh, male as he, with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood is upon them. Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desire, uh, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. There you go. For this reason, uh, Romans 1.26.28, for this reason, God gave them up to the dishonorable, uh, dishonorable passions for their women exchanged natural relations for those who are contrary to nature. And the men likewise gave up natural relations to the women with their, and were consumed with passion for one another. Men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves a due penalty for their error. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do ought not to be done. Genesis 2.24 Therefore, a man shall not leave his father and mother and hold fast to his life. They should become one flesh. Okay. Uh, Mark 10, 6 to 9. All right. But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and hold fast to his wife. And those two shall become flesh. So they are no longer two, but one. Okay. So a man and a woman are not separated. They're together. A man and a woman are made for each other. As you can see from the verses before, homosexuality is not acceptable. It is punished. And this is one of the reasons that the, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were completely destroyed by eternal fire. They were turned to stone. They were destroyed from meteors that came from the sky of fire because of the homosexual acts that were happening within the city. Uh, Corinthians 6, 9, 10. Uh, or do you know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, or men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor greedy, nor drunkards, nor uh, revilers, nor swindlers, nor inherit the kingdom of God. Right here. They're all compared to each other. Sexually immoral, right? No idolaters or adulterers. So anyone who cheats on their spouse... 
um, anyone who is sexually immoral, who's having sex before marriage, or going ahead and stripping down naked in the middle of the street and showing their butt, their boobs, um, anyone who practices homosexuality, these people are like drunkards, they're the swindlers, not the thieves, not the greedy. These people will not inherit the kingdom of God. Um, pretty much same thing within Timothy. You know, we have good and lawful understanding the laws laid down on godly sinners for the unholy profane. These who strike their fathers and mothers for murderers, sexually immoral, men who practice homosexuality, enslavers, liars, uh, perjurers, and anyone on the contrary, so forth. Corinthians, because the temptation is sexual and moral, a man should have his own wife and each woman her own husband. Therefore, if anyone in Christ is a new creation, old has passed away below the new has come. So these are all verses about um, homosexuality in the Bible. And in the Bible, we have a punishment for these things as well. Stoning and things of this nature that take place for sexually immoral acts. Not just homosexuality, but fornication and adultery as well. There are acts of stoning and punishment of this nature. Where I don't understand... Especially when it comes down to like what's happening in the media now. When they talk about Islam and they talk about like what Muslims will do to gay people, what Muslims will do to women, and what Muslims will do to people who fornicate, what will stone them and hang them in public town squares. You guys are out of your mind and you guys really don't know what the scripture says. And I very, very I find it very, very sick and ill at the ignorance of many people, especially Christians who don't even know their own Bible and don't even know what it teaches, to go ahead and go and try and discredit the Holy Quran for what it says about specific things, right? Now, this is what the Quran says. And the Quran does not speak about homosexuality in specific very much. It does talk about fornication quite a bit, but it does not talk about um, homosexuality very, very, very much. Um, and we had sent Lot, and when he said to his people, do you commit such immorality as no one has... Per uh, proceeded you with from among the worlds indeed you approach men with desire instead of women rather you are in transgressing people so he's talking about sodom and gomorrah and this is in the holy quran right um do you approach males among the worlds and leave what your lord has created for you as mates but you are a people transgressing so once again talking about the homosexuality do you Indeed, approach men with desire instead of women. Rather, you are a people behaving ignorantly. Once again, talking about homosexuality. And the two who committed among you dishonor them both. But if they repent and correct their self, leave them alone. Indeed, Allah is ever accepting and repentance and merciful. So what does this also say in the Holy Quran? Is that if the two commit these heinous acts of fornication if that's homosexuality if that is fornication and they repent and correct their self then leave them alone right don't touch them leave them alone because god almighty is all accepting of and and all merciful right so these are the things that the holy quran and the holy bible specifically state about homosexuality about fornication and things of this nature and i find it very hypocritical of christians and muslims and jews alike who go ahead and support these pride movements and everything that's happening today there's a difference between going ahead and you know just keeping yourself out of it going ahead and saying okay you know what you're gay i don't mind if you're gay and you know you just be gay in your house like why do you have to strip naked in the middle of the street I personally have no problem with gay people. I live in the Western society of the world. I live in a free country, right? So I have no problem with, you know, people being, you know, gay. Do I prefer them to, to, to be straight? Probably, yeah. I would like to see them reproduce and have families 
and you know go ahead and repopulate society more and more i think we don't have enough of repopulating society and i think the growth of a gay community is going to only kill that even more especially when we have you know the issues of you know feminism and all of these and men not being men anymore and all these things people aren't having kids anymore bro people aren't having kids they're having their first kid at 30 40 years old like if if, even if they have a kid and they can't even have kids, most of these people. It's getting really crazy out here. And then the, the gay population is growing and all these things. Like, There's no more reproduction happening. The population of the world is going to start dying off and dying off really, really fast over the next 30, 40, 50 years. If we keep our immorality up, if we keep everything that's happening today up, everything our grandparents worked for and died for, everything our parents worked for and died for is down the drain. This next generation is going to be completely screwed. And unfortunately, it's because of things like this. And if we don't go ahead and stand up and talk about things like this, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're a Christian, if you're Muslim, if you're black, white, Jewish, I don't care who you are, what you are, if you don't go ahead and stand up and do the right thing and protect children from things, I don't know what to tell you. Our society is screwed and we're going to go down a completely terrible path. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming in today. Thank you so much for watching the video. Leave your comments down below what you believe about this specific subject. And once again, a disc just, just for my own, you know, just so you guys know if there's any, you know, people of the LGBTQI plus 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 community watching, I... I'm calling it the plus 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 community first off because it never ends. Every single year we have a new term. And secondly, I have nothing against you. I don't care. I went to school with gay people. I was friends with gay people. I interacted with them. I had no problem with them, right? Now, when it comes down to like hypersexualization, I don't come from a a generation where we hypersexualize sex. I didn't come from a generation where people were selling their 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 boobs and their butt online like OnlyFans or people were obsessed with porn, or even, it wasn't even, like, were you gonna look up porn on your Nintendo DS? Like, these were the things that I dealt with during my time as a child, right? So, like, when I was growing up, it was very hard to be sexually immoral, where now, it's just, just everyone's sexually immoral, and the gay community seems to be way more sexually immoral than anyone else. They don't have, like, a filter on things, at least, most of the things that I see in a public place, like I, I personally see more sexually immoral things happening in the gay community than with straight people. And there's a lot more straight people than gay people. Now, when it comes down to like pornography and things like this online, yeah, I go ahead and give the crown to the straight people for sexual immorality when it comes to the online community. But when it comes to this month, I see no no reason to have a pride month. I see no reason for any of this. Maybe like have a pride day or something if that's what makes you feel good about yourself, right? But this whole entire month to go ahead and celebrate your sexuality and your sexual preference in bed is super weird. And all I see that is, is like pedophilia or like, you know, you as a predator in some type of way, shape or form, especially with what's happening at these events and what's being permitted at these events that are completely against the law and completely against God's law and morality. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. God bless every single one of you and free Palestine.